Good morning and welcome back to Saturday Morning Switch! Well, Gamescom rolls on as I record this, we also got a cool announcement from the Pokemon World Championships in the form of a demo for an upcoming game, Pokemon Tournament DX, which is out now. So, in a semi follow up to last week's episode and a semi look ahead to Switch's big September release, sorry Fire Emblem Warriors, we're going to talk about Pokemon. Confirmed back in June, Pokemon Tournament DX hopes to replicate the success that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had in finding a bigger audience on the Switch than it ever did on Wii U. And while this demo is pretty limited in what it lets you try out, the good news is the fundamental gameplay is as solid as it ever was, even if the included tutorial doesn't do the best job of explaining it all. Combat revolves around a fairly simple rock-paper-scissors system of attacks, grabs and blocks. You can block attacks, but not grabs, but an attack is fast enough to force a grab attempt. There's more to it than that, and there were plenty of times I went to grab an opponent carrying behind the block button, only to be annoyingly out of range despite being able to land normal attacks. But for the main it works, it provides a clear thread of what you should be doing, even in the most hectic of moments. There's also phase shifts, where the game transforms from a 3D plane to a 2D one, and vice versa. You happen quite frequently in the heat of battle, but will never throw off your controls or view of the fight, with gameplay flowing neatly across both views. The main boon of these is to boost your special, or synergy gorge, letting you power up and hit your best moves that much faster. Though with some good timing and dodges, you can easily avoid taking a lot of damage or even block the super attack, putting your opponent at a sudden disadvantage. In terms of raw content though, the demo falls a little short. You can pick between one of three fighters, Pikachu, Charizard or Empoleon. There's only two support sets, another mechanic that's easy to use, but the demo forgets to teach, with a second chargeable gorge, and abilities that range from offensive to defensive depending on your playstyle. As for arenas, there's just the one, not that they tend to make much difference in the Wii U version. And while you can see all the other fighters and supports locked away, the roster has barely expanded in the last few years. You're also limited to only 15 battles, though you can get around that by deleting and re-downloading the demo. You can choose to fight either against a fairly easy CPU, or against a friend, using one Joy-Con each. More than likely, you'll quit out the demo before expending all your shots though, thanks to the limitations. Still, this plays better in local play now, thanks to the Switch's improved specs, meaning one player doesn't get lag central like in the Wii U version. And to me at least, it feels better in the Joy-Cons, where you're not restrained to the hulking gamepad, which was never the best suited for fighting games. However, people who remember the article I wrote on Pokemon Tournament back in 2016, Although my main problem with the game was never really the actual fighting systems, it was with the content they made with them. The single player offering was a grind fest, and the takeaway of people who I played it with was how small the roster was. And while I can't comment on the single player of DX yet, the small roster is still as noticeable here as it ever was. But then again, while the Wii U was nearing the end when Pokemon came out, the Switch is still a spring chicken, which reopens the possibility of DLC, such as new characters. And to me at least, it does need them. Unless Nintendo are keeping a big reveal about a new game mode or other additions to the game close to their chest for the final month of build-up, the honest truth is I'm more excited to replay Gold and Silver than I am to jump back into Pokemon X Tech. Here's hoping my scepticism is proved wrong, otherwise I'll be forced to the same conclusion I came to last year, where I said Pokemon Tournament was a great start for the series, but makes you more excited for what they could do with it, rather than what they currently are. Thanks for watching as always, next week we'll be celebrating 6 months of the Switch, looking back at everything that's accomplished and what's still to come in the rest of 2016 and beyond. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that episode, and if you enjoyed this video, give us a like or leave a comment as well. Until next time, see you all.